We'll guide you through how to stream on YouTube from your PS5. If you find this guide useful, consider subscribing and also liking the video. And let's get into this. So the first thing we need to do is head into your PS5 settings. So to do that, you need to go to the top right of your PS5. So tap up and then along until settings is highlighted and select and open your settings. Then what you need to do is tap on users and accounts. And in here, you need to go down to linked services. Click there. And then what you want to do is we need to go link our YouTube account so we can go and stream to it. So scroll down to YouTube and select it. And then you're going to go and see everything on the left, which you're going to be sort of linking your account for. So I agree with all of that. And then I'll press on link account. And then the browser is going to go and open up. And then you need to go and sign into your Google account uh, to go and sort of link the PlayStation Network. So you'll need to go and enter your email firstly, just tap on the text box and then you can go and start to type it in. After signing in, you'll then need to choose the YouTube channel, which you want to go and allow access to. And this is the channel you want to be streaming on. So I've gone and selected my tutorial channel. You'll then see what you're allowing PlayStation to do. And if you're sure, you can then go and tap on allow like that. And there we go. We've now gone and done the link just like that. So you can then go and tap on done. And then what you want to do is just go and tap on the back button on your controller like this on circle. And what you now want to do is get into the game which you want to go and stream. So I'm going to go and open up Fortnite and then show you what to do next. Once you're inside of the game, you want to go and live stream, come onto your controller and you need to go and tap on the share button, which is this one here in the top left. So go and click on it. And there we go, we've now opened up the share panel and you need to go to the broadcast button. So tap along to it just like this, click on broadcast like so, and then it should go and show you the different services you can use. For me, it automatically gave me Twitch because I've used Twitch before. If that happens to you, just click on the three dots to the right and then you can tap on change service and then you can select YouTube. So select YouTube like that. And then what you want to do is go and give your stream a title. So mine's Fortnite at the moment. Make sure you give your stream like an enticing title to go and get people to click. And then you can go and give a description. So you could go and say um, Fortnite with friends or whatever. And then you can go and add tags as well, which helps your video appear. And then at the bottom, you need to choose the privacy. I like mine to be public because then people can actually see it. If it's unlisted, um, it's not going to be shown to people unless you give them the link. Same for private, you've sort of got to give people links and give them access. So you probably want it on public. Um, and once you've done that, you can then just go to the right of go live and click on the three dots and tap on broadcast options. And you can choose if you want to go and have your camera on. I don't have one, but if I did, I could go and turn it on. Then you can choose if you want to have the chat displayed on your screen, which you probably do. So you can engage with viewers and things like that. And you can then choose if you want display activity on. I do so I can sort of say hello and people join. And you can then choose where the overlay will be. So that will be where like your chat is and things like that. Uh, and then you can choose if you want to include the party audio. I do just so my friends can be heard on the stream. And then at the bottom, you've got video quality. So tap there and then we've got a few different options. I like to go and have the best quality. But if you find this lags, this is probably because your internet can't handle it. So come back to the broadcast options and try lowering it. All of these options are you know, pretty high quality, but I do like to have the best. But honestly, 30 FPS is going to be fine. And also 720p at 60 FPS will also be fine as well. So I'll start with that for now. And yeah, I'm happy with that. And then what I can do is press the back button and then I can go across and tap on go live. And it'll then say starting broadcast and just wait. It shouldn't take too long. And just like that, it then will say now broadcasting in the top right and we're now streaming. So now people can come and join us. And what I recommend you do is you just go and see if you're currently muted or unmuted. To do that, come onto your controller and press on sort of the share button and then go across to broadcast once again and select that. And then you can go and tap um, just on your stream there. And then you can go and choose if you want to mute your microphone or unmute it. Mine is now unmuted as the mute icon has disappeared and it's now muted when you can see it. So I want it unmuted so people can hear me and that's it. And then to stop it, all you need to do is tap on the share button, go across to broadcast and then you can tap on stop broadcast, press yes. And just like that, the broadcast has now been stopped. So that's it guys. If you found this useful, please leave a like.